good day my dear undergraduate and emerging postgraduate students welcome to what next this is an arteriogram i would like you people to appreciate the features in this arteriogram and make your diagnosis it will be difficult but let us see the history a 35 year old male with history of smoking and alcoholism came to the doctor with complaints of severe pain in this leg his hemogram was normal liver functions and renal functions were also normal the doctor advised him to refrain from alcohol and smoking he returned after a few weeks with acute exacerbation of the symptoms and after a get together with his old friends this had happened he had additional complaints of tingling sensation in his fingers what is your diagnosis so this is the arteriogram of the hand and in the leg the angiography is showing pore screw appearance of the vessels any diagnosis this is just a recapitulation of the vasculitis aorta and then the other large arteries medium artery small arterial capillaries and sometimes even the venules are involved that is why it is called vasculitis so there are some diseases limited to the large to the medium to the small some to the arterioles and capillaries we shall be seeing them keep your promise i mean that is what the patient should have done but what can be the differential diagnosis in this particular picture it can be atherosclerosis frostbite anti phospholipid syndrome in pregnancy giant cell arthritis gout imaging imaging in polyarthritis mortis renault's phenomenon scleroderma sle diabetes mellitus so all these we should be having in mind the diagnosis for the day is burgers disease named dr leo burger a dutch physician and a surgeon found at this museum the picture otherwise called as thromboangiitis obliterans please see the definition further it is a progressive non atherosclerotic segmental inflammatory disease that affects usually the small and the medium sized arteries of the extremities so this history you people should be very clever to catch up with what is the pathogenesis it can be an enhanced amount of sensitivity to type 1 and type 3 collagen the endothelium is impaired so there is not much of vaso relaxation increased anti endothelial cell antibody titers can be present sometimes some people say that there is a genetic link there is an increased prevalence of hla a9 b5 and hla 54 it may exist in other diseases as well what is the histomorphology and the stages the first thing is vasculitis which means there will be inflammation aggregation of leukocytes micro abscess formation can be there sometimes the tissue is destroyed we find only neutrophils micro abscess thrombi extremely important because they cause a total occlusion and it has to be deferred from atherosclerosis because that involves the intima and the media whereas in 
thromboangiitis obliterans, all the layers are informed. And remember, this is because of the HLA and the circulating immune complexes, anti-arterial immune complexes. Histologically, there are three stages, neutrophils, granuloma, and thrombus. So that is the acute stage. In the subacute stage, there is a thrombus that is becoming more organized. Organization means literally fibrosis. And chronic stage, it leads to a thromboacclusion. So there is an ischemia and the changes that we are seeing. Look at this one. Because of the ischemia, there is a gangrene that has developed. Whether it is a dry gangrene or a wet gangrene, you people can say. Clear demarcation is seen. Normal tissue is present, though there is some amount of edema because of the stasis. This is pink and this is black. And going to the blood vessel, so this is the lumen, but then this is the lumen as such. It is getting narrow and I find that there is a lot of fibrosis within the wall surrounding the intima. Sometimes there can be a recanalization that is possible. There is some amount of inflammation that can be seen in the surrounding region. But most important will be the occluding thrombus, inflammation, and there can be a compromise in the blood supply. What are the clinical manifestations? Intermittent claudication. The patient has a severe excruciating pain, relief, and again this reckless. It occurs in the arch of the foot. This can happen in Raynaud's phenomenon. Raynaud's disease is totally different than Raynaud's phenomenon. Allen test is one test that has been mentioned as positive for this condition. The investigations include there are no specific laboratory tests. Though we say HLA and inflammatory mediators, no specific. Arteriography is important. That will be showing a pigtail or a corkscrew appearance. That is what we were seeing. The treatment is refrain from smoking. Alloprast plus catecholamines. See you again. This is a scene from the movie. In what next? <laughs>